Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm uh, I'm out here in the factory. I uh, came out this morning and had uh, a bunch of stuff to build. <laughs> uh, I got through it though. Uh, I got through it. Best shipped at all. Life is good. Uh, now when I got done, I was goofing around with some protos, and I found some protos. And bottom line is, I have uh, three protos here. Now I'm going to try not to stutter too much and explain basically what these three protos are. They're all basically uh, on the SS1 to SS2 type format. They don't fit in the cylinder, they all fit in the um, Altoid tins. And one of them is a bottom feed with a non-adjustable SS remote and standard top. Let's see if I remember. The second one is uh, like a bongo high nipple. It's a, uh, it's like an SS one, but it's top feed. The nipple's right in the very top, and it has a standard 14 ounce nipple cap with a side feed, so it'll fit in the Altoid can. And because the nipple's at the very top, it stays full of alcohol even when you let go of the bottle. Just like this first one, it's it's an SS remote. It feeds all the time. And the third one is a SS2 bottom feed, but it has a tricked out uh, gravity feed cap so that you just tilt the bottle up and it fills it when you tilt it back down. It doesn't pull the alcohol back. So all three of these are long burn because none of them pull the alcohol back. All three are different designs uh, and all fit in an Altoid can and slide right in your pocket. And I also got a Bongo Turbo, which is an extreme animal people don't most people don't understand uh, and so all these are super compact super lightweight and relatively hot stoves uh, of different configurations now the question arises what do I do with them do I put them in proto boxes do I bid them off do I sell them do I just hang on to them I, I'm not sure what to do with them because they're all different, they're all prototypes. I probably ought to just put them in proto boxes. So if you get any thoughts on that, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll set all three of them up and run them if I don't sell them in the meantime. But uh, that's what I'm up to. <clears throat> I got my uh, Coleman electric lantern wired in, and and uh, I I really like that lamp. It gives off a really interesting light. And I found out that if you let it run for two, three minutes, it gets brighter. It's like the bulb warms up or something. And boy, it, it, it puts out a lot of light for one little tiny fluorescent bulb running off of a gel cell. It's wow. Uh, it's pretty amazing. So anyway, I played with that quite a while today and reconfigured some batteries and the wind was blowing here and I was playing with a windmill and I built an amp meter and just generally enjoyed myself. I sat on the front steps of the old bicycle shop. The sun was coming right in. It was like 58, 55 degrees, but the sun was coming right in. It was warm, and Sue and I sat there and talked and soaked up some rays for a while. Uh, my muscles are starting to adjust to winter life, and uh, they're not hurting as bad as they were. Thank you, ibuprofen. <laughs> so uh, that's where we are with that. Uh, still waiting for my pickup cap. I'm waiting for him to call me. Haven't, haven't, uh, probably in the next few days. Uh, I get emails all the time from people asking questions. You know, it's like, I'm going to hike the Appalachian Trail next spring. Can you give me a list of everything I'm going to need, uh, to go out in the wild for two months, three months and cook? You know, anything extra I'm going to need to replace that's going to wear out the, the works. Everything. I want to list it. Everything. That's that's not an easy thing to do. So, you know, without knowing a lot about the person and knowing how they cook and stuff, you almost always recommend, you know, the standard issue. Buy a Bios 5 cook set, uh, cook kit, and you get the pot and the windscreen and 
a lid and, 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 and a BIOS 5 stove. That's, that's pretty much standard issue for boiling water. Then if you want to simmer, you know, buy a, uh, an SS1 or a Bongo original or something and, you know, depending on what you're doing and, and you can use that to simmer. That's, that's my standard answer. And some extra wick and some fuel bottles and some extra fuel line and, uh, you know, a little of this, a little of that. I kind of have to think it through. But, anyway, uh, I got to get rid of these three protos and uh, uh, choke hazard turbo and move on. New orders coming in every day. Can't can't uh, get stagnant. Got to keep got to keep moving. Got to keep keep building every day. I'm getting low on stuff now. I think I got one uh, SS non-adjustable remote left and one uh, mini atomic carbon felt and no originals and one Sawyer uh, large water filter adapter and you know it's this Saturday I'm going to be busy. <laughs> I got quite quite a few. I probably got ten rings left, so I'm in good shape. And I'm starting to sell more just the beer can ring. People are making their own pots more and more, uh, selling more and more rings, considering that you'll have it for the rest of your life. And they are quite a bit different design than they originally were when I first started out. Uh, vastly superior ring to the one I started with when I invented them. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Try to have a really great day and try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.